All right, here we go. This is the crossover, week number 11. Let's get our minds right. The smallest deed is better than the grandest intention. All right, so let's make sure we're doing our deeds. Here we go. We're gonna start off this week, week number 11. Play ball. That's what they're saying in baseball world. The owners and the players have come to an agreement on their new collective bargaining. That's great news for all the sports fans out there because not only that, remember when I last reported about the strike, I said that the first two series of the season were canceled. Well, with this agreement, they have agreed to play the entire season. So yes, that's right. All 162 games of the Major League Baseball regular season will be played. So they're reporting for spring training now. Uh, those games should uh, get underway very, very soon. There will be baseball in Mudville. But you got to be older, a little bit older to understand that one. But um, yes, baseball is back. We will have a full season. That's great. Next up, the term bracketology is very, very famous this time of year. NCAA men's basketball tournament and women's tournament. Yes, Coach TM is about equal opportunity over here. Title IX. So, NCAA basketball is right around the corner. Have you filled out your brackets? Who do you feel is going all the way? For all the old, those who listen out there to Coach TM, I don't want to do any spoiler alerts, but I just let you fill out your brackets, see, see what you've done. You can check back with me. Uh, in a couple weeks when it's all said and done and I'll let you know my bracket from the beginning just as a quick peek yes it is already filled out so um, we'll compare brackets we'll, we'll check back on that but I don't want to ruin it for anybody especially anybody out there who may be wagering or gambling on your bracket is that you don't want somebody else that lets the coach team to have an unfair advantage uh, because, you know, they talk about it around their water cooler. I won't give away any secrets of my inside knowledge of who's doing what out there, but we'll share that later. All right. So make sure you get your brackets filled out. Fun time. Next up, the NBA has been on a scoring binge offensively. What I mean by that, last week, LeBron scored 50 points in two games. He had 56 in one, 50 in the other. In between that, Jason Tatum went for 50 points. Now, just this week, Anthony Towns, Carl Anthony Towns, I should say to be formal, Carl Anthony Towns went for 60, went for 60 points. The same night Steph Curry was cooking, Chef Curry went for 47. And then Trey Young, out in Atlanta, went for 46. It seems like scoring is really up in the NBA. Is this a trend because of something in particular? Or are the players more skilled? Is the three-point line too close? Are the rest too harsh on the defense? So they basically have to just let them score? Let me know your thoughts out there of why we're having these scoring binges in the NBA. Last up. He's back. That's right. Tom Brady was retired for all of two months and has announced that he is returning to the NFL for season number 23. My thought is in season number 22, he was basically the runner up MVP for the entire league. So if he wants to play, why not? It's not like he was dragging along and is just there to collect a check. He actually was performing at a high level. So let's see, does this put the Tampa Bay Buccaneers right back in the championship chase immediately? I think it does. I think that now Tampa Bay and the Los Angeles Rams defending champs are neck and neck for next year's crown. 
but let's see how it all plays out. That and many other stories coming to you um, once again. Week number 11 is in the books. To all of you out there, give me your likes, give me your comments, and let's keep this thing rolling. Coach TM, until next time, peace in.